Let's take a look at the structural formula for xylene, and we're going to look at orthoxylene, metaxylene, and paraxylene. So to start out, when we have xylene, we're going to have a benzene ring, and we're going to have two methyl groups on it. So this is the benzene ring here, and the methyl groups, the carbons, would be right here. So another way to show the structural formula would be like this here. The point is that we would have carbon atoms here on the end. These would be methyl groups, CH3. So for the first structure, this is orthoxylene. We note that we have one, two methyl groups that are on the first and second of these rings. We label going around like this. So we could call this one, two, dimethyl benzene. We have a methyl group on the first and the second. The di means that we have two overall methyl groups. And then we have the benzene ring. This is also called orthoxylene. So this is the structural formula for orthoxylene. If we had the methyl groups on the one, two, three, on the one and the three, we would have one dimethyl benzene. That would be metaxylene. Finally, if the methyl groups were on opposite sides, we'd have one, four dimethyl benzene, also called paraxylene. So the way to remember this is that if we have our substituent, the group that's attached, and we have it right next door to it, that's going to be on the one and the two. That's ortho. If we're on the one, and the three, that's going to be the meta. And if they're on opposite sides, that's going to be the para on the one and the four. So that's the structural formula for ortho, meta, and paraxylene. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.